to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. We're going to tell you the story of the mouse, the bird, and the sausage by the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. <laughs> For God. The mouse, the bird, and the sausage starts out with the mouse. And a bird. And a sausage. And... That old sausage. And they live together. It's weird, right? So we have two <laughs> animals and then a piece of meat that, I mean... He, cooked, he survived the sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> The sausage and, and... Ran away with a spoon. But the mouse and the bird are... Like, the bird's like a dude. The mouse is a girl, and the sausage is... Another dude. Dude? Another, I mean, if you made a sausage a girl, you would be... Sausage. <laughs> that's how you would do it. That's all you had to do, is just change the way you pronounce sausage. And now it's a girl. So the mouse, the bird, and the sausage... Uh, he's still a guy because he's got some work to do. He's got, yeah, <laughs> he's got a few inches to cut off before he can be sausage. So the mouse, the bird, and the sausage uh, form a partnership. Uh, this is uh, maybe they got married, formed a relationship. They live in the house and together. They, they're <laughs> they're roommates. That share responsibilities in the day to day. Uh, and the, it was a gentleman's agreement and a lady. And it was working out splendidly. Basically what they would do is the mouse would gather water. The bird would go out and fetch wood. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is in preparation for the dinner, I guess, every yeah. day. And then the sausage would cook the dinner. Cook the dinner and season, season. the dinner. He put his wiener all up in the, the stew. He slithered in, get it all Vegetable. greasy and salty. Those were their agreements. Those were their responsibilities. Which would work it too. And they liked it. Yeah. They, and, they worked in cohesion and And they made a pretty pretty decent living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got they accumulated possessions to fill the house that they lived in. Yeah, I gotta make it nice and cozy. And one day the bird decided he was gonna go brag to his friends. He's gonna yeah. go tell him about it. I guess they were on like, it was like a slow day or something. So maybe it was just like breakfast time or something. He was like, I'm just going to go grab some worms, go out in the forest. He stumbles upon another bird. Mm -hmm. And I guess this bird, we'll call him Larry, is like, I've got an awesome setup going on. I, I, I just come out and get firewood, go back. They're making the food, set the table, eat. It's delicious. This is a good, good, good life that I'm living. Yeah. And the other bird. There are yeah. a couple birds that laughed at him, and he told him he was a slave. Why are you letting these <laughs> they, they this mouse and sausage push you around? Your cool setup is actually you're making you a fool because you have to do all the work. Mm -hmm. Like the mouse, he he could just go out and get the water and then relax until dinner was ready, mm -hmm. and then set the table. And the sausage, he didn't have to do anything but cook, just sit by the pot and cook. And then just put his wiener and stuff. <laughs> uh, and you've got to do all the work, f flying out into the forest and cut, grabbing the wood. And then when you bring it home, what do you do? You eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so everybody else, everybody else actually had more work to do, but this bird was making them think that they uh, better on the other side. Yeah, because every anyone who lives a good life always longs for something new to do yep the grass is always greener on the other side boom moral of the story let's just wrap it up here you, you, <laughs> you've got it the bird is thinking about this the next day he comes home and he's like guys i'm done being your slave i think we need to switch up responsibilities i don't i, I feel like i'm being taken advantage of and then the the mouse and the sausage were like uh, no, everything's working fine. Let's just keep it this way. But they argued and pleaded as much as they could. It was to be, though. Because the bird was actually the master in this conversation. He was like, I'm not the slave. Yeah. I'm the master. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this, sh this show right now. And I'm going to say that th we're going to change responsibilities and see how it goes. And they're like, oh, I guess. I guess. So... The new responsibilities were going to be that the mouse, instead of get, getting water and setting the table, would cook, cook the dinner and season. Mouse seasoning. 
Mm-hmm. Yum. True. Delicious. <laughs> but I guess it's better than having some sausage in your stew. <laughs> so the mouse was going to cook and season the bird was then going to be the one to grab the water and set the table. And the sausage was going to be the guy to go out into the woods and yeah. fi- fetch the wood. Without any arms. makes no sense. W- wieners don't have arms. Don't <laughs> flop out there. <laughs> He's going to get slivers for sure. Which, so that's what they did. They did all those the, the new responsibilities. After they set the table to get ready to eat, the sausage didn't come back and so the mouse and the bird got really worried. And they were scared, and so the bird was like, all right, I'll go look for him. And he left, and he saw a dog with a sausage in his mouth. <laughs> Dogs love wieners. Like, <clears throat> that, that's, a, that's a thing. So the bird goes to the dog, trying to plead with him, saying that this, this dog is a, a for kidnapping their yeah. sausage. Like. The dog's like, well, this sausage wasn't who it claimed to be the sausage was like hey i'm i'm mr dick and he's like you're not mr dick you're a sausage and i want to eat you so maybe he was just saying that i didn't know that it was a person it was a sausage it looked like a sausage (laughs) it smelled like a sausage so i ate it and the bird was like you have a point that was a sausage (laughs) but it also had a personality and you ate frank (laughs) frank and larry Mousica. Mousica. <laughs> Larry goes home uh, to, to tell Mousica. Mousica. I gotta tell her what's up, what happened. And Mousica and him are like, so the sausage is gone. We gotta make the best of this. We'll, yeah. have, to, we'll have to do what we do on our own. So they continue to do it. The bird went and got the the water and then went to go get the wood too make up for it and the mouse was like all right now i gotta uh, season season this food gotta roll around in it (laughs) and he he dove into the spaghetti or something like that yeah and skin just peeled right off his uh, fur and his skin were scalded off and he died inside of the spaghetti (laughs) so there's uh there is seasoning of fur uh and the black plague the bubonic plague. That's how the bubonic... This is actually the story of how the bubonic plague started. Oh. The bird gets home and was like, I got the wood. I'm ready to I'm ready to eat. Uh, but there's no cookie. Where is the mouse? And he gets pissed off. Starts throwing the wood around the house. He's just like calling out, screaming, where's my food? Just give me my food. Because the, the bird was carelessly tossing wood around the house in a fit of rage uh, he was ha- he was hangry at this point uh yep. it's a real thing <laughs> because of that the wood caught fire and the house went up in flames and the bird was like oh sh-. and he grabs a bucket goes to get the water in the well and then he falls maybe he wasn't used to how heavy it is with all the water in it because he wasn't uh, the one to get the water so he didn't know how heavy couldn't take it any longer and it pulled him down and somehow he got underneath it and drowned the end, <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah. i was like i don't know if there's anything left